Upon graduating from high school, we enter a new world of chances, choices, and challenges. At that point, we're taking the first step toward the rest of our lives. I'm Vincent, and as a sophomore, I'm still in the early stages of making any decisions for after high school. Considering I play for two hockey teams and the golf team, teach kids how to ice skate, participate in the robotics club, service team, news studio, and the WHYY Flash Media Lab. My life is already extremely busy, yet I'm supposed to be able to fit making a life-altering decision into my schedule. Naturally, I'm feeling a lot of pressure. So what are my choices for post-graduation life? And what exactly are these pressures that myself and probably a lot of other teens are feeling? Students have a lot of options, but I feel as though the, the main options are either going to a four-year college or university, going to a two-year college or university, going into a trade school, uh, going into the military, going into an apprenticeship, a hands-on kind of union job, or just beginning to work, just going out to get a job. I think those are the, the main choices they have. So I'm facing these different options, but which make me choose one or the other? What factors are the most important? How have other people made this decision? I commonly hear that how the job market and the economy are doing poorly. Also, it's impossible to overlook the insane prices of college tuition. So how important is money? Money was definitely a big thing about paying for college. I don't want to be swimming in debt. So I just really only looked at schools that had a reasonable tuition. The economy, or better, better put, money, is always going to be a deciding factor for everyone. We all want to, you know, be Indiana Jones, but there's no money in archaeology. To excel in making the larger, I guess, larger amounts of money to better support your family, I think, yeah, I think you do need a college degree today. But you definitely need a degree for most job, uh, job markets out there. There's a variety that you don't need it. Um, you can go right into the workforce, but the majority um, degrees are mattering more and more. So for the unemployment rate um, f among uh, people with different levels of education, so um, for uh, people without a high school diploma, um, it's about 11%, so very, very bad. For people with a high school diploma, it's about 7.5% unemployment. For uh, people with a college degree, um, just a bachelor's degree, we're down to like 4%. So huge differences in the likelihood of being able to find a job um, uh, for you know, people with more, more education. Based on what the economy and job markets are looking like, it's definitely important to consider money. Considering I haven't yet decided where I want to go to school or what I want to be, why are there preset expectations? Well, the pressures I think are on a student when they're trying to decide what they want to do when they get out of high school are, first of all, I think a lot of students worry about having to know exactly what they want to do and they worry that if they don't know exactly what they want to do or they don't get in the right school for it, then that's going to be a problem down the road. And then I also think there's some pressure from parents. I think parents sometimes have an idea of what they want their sons or daughters to do, and so there's a little bit of pressure there, family pressure. In high school, it's shoved down your throat that you need to go to college to get a good job, to have money, to you know get a house and all that other stuff. I know what I've wanted to do since I was very young and what I need to do, I needed to go to college. So I've been set on that. But I think people who didn't know what they wanted to do kind of got forced into college because they went, oh, it's going to help you make decisions and you're going to know what you want to do because you're in college. Because myself and plenty of other teens are involved in activities, athletics, there's obviously a lot of that interests us. How important are my own interests when I'm deciding what I want to do with my life? The one thing that should always sculpt your decision is what you truly want, what's in your heart. Um, a lot of us will say from a young age, uh, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a doctor. And when you get to college, that might be the path that you originally choose. It might not be the right one for you. It might be not be the right fit. And you kind of have to listen to your heart in order to figure out what the right fit is. Too many people out there go out there and get jobs just to have a job and they hate their jobs, they hate their work. I think if you have a certain skill, as long as you're happy doing it, I think that's the most important thing. 
I'd say that students have to follow what their beliefs are and what their interests are. My suggestion to them is to follow what they want to do um, to achieve where they're going to be happy in life. When I think about what I want to do, I don't really think about it in salary. The really thing I'm concerned about is the environment that I'll work in, the people that I'll meet, and the opportunities that I get in other places besides just staying in Pennsylvania for the rest of my life. So I would, I would say the number one factor is you want to be happy. You want to find something that you're going to embrace and that you're really going to enjoy doing because um, you know if you enjoy what you're doing, you're going to excel at it. And whatever you might do, the option is you'll always find something that's going to make you happy and you should always have a plan on how you're going to get there. It seems that a lot of people put their interests first when they set course for their life after graduation. Knowing that I can feel at least a little more relaxed during the decision process. Once I have my goals, I can use my priorities to determine how I'll get there. Although it isn't an easy decision, it's mine to make. Maybe I don't feel so pressured after all.